At this point, we had just arrived to the San Francisco International Airport, and we needed to get out of here. So when you first arrive to the San Francisco airport, it's just like every other airport on earth except for all the no dumping signs. But other than that, it's a pretty standard airport. There's nothing really much to see here. If you really want to explore California and San Francisco like we did, you're going to need a car. And if you're going to get a car, you might as well go in style, right? So we were looking at the vehicle guide and we were trying to decide between these two bad boys. and. Uh, I'm very happy with our decision. We were recording that per se, and now we're just gonna pop. Oh shit. <laughs> you done fucked up, man. <laughs> you done put two of America's most wanted in the same motherfucking place at the same motherfucking time. <laughs> So once you do have your beautiful dream car, it's time to go out and explore the beautiful dream state. Just driving through California, any part of it is just wondrous. The city is beautiful, it's nice to look at. Every street is just really well laid out and, and magical in its own way. This street in particular is a special street. Now this is filmed at time, meaning that we didn't slow it down at all. The reason that we're going so slow is because this is the most windy street that I've ever been on in my entire life. It's probably the most windy street in all of America. It's called Lombard Street and it's pretty popular. Maybe when you see it from the overhead, you'll recognize it. Now this street is so much fun to go down, it's even more fun to watch, but this is just one of the many attractions that the city has to offer. It's crazy how many things you can see when you're going through San Francisco. Like right here, we're just driving along, and this is our first glimpse of the Golden Gate Bridge. Now of course, if you're in San Francisco, you have to see the Golden Gate Bridge up close. So the very first thing that we did, we decided to go across the Golden Gate Bridge. The Golden Gate Bridge is about 600 feet high and about a mile long. It's beautiful and, and it's incredible to walk across if you get the opportunity to go to San Francisco I highly recommend it but when you get to the other side there's not much the city is on one side and on the other side is just a barren mountainside but from the mountain there are certain places where you can just turn around and sure enough you'll get a beautiful view of not only the Golden Gate Bridge but also the San Francisco Bay So this is me being a total dork. The reason why I'm such a dork inside of this video is because this is my very first travel vlog and I'm not really sure what I'm doing yet. So uh, bear with me. <laughs> I know that I sound like a complete moron, but doing a travel vlog is hard and it's annoyingly creative in such a way that you're not really sure what you're supposed to do and how you're supposed to plan it so I just threw this thing together and I end up with moments kind of like this one. So we're in Modesto right now we're on our way to the Big Basin Redwood Tree Forest but I saw this forest this uh, farm I don't know what these trees make but uh, I felt like it was a really nice picture opportunity so yeah more stops along the way so awkward but it is a lot of fun to just travel around and grab this footage and try to put it together and make a story out of it so we had to pause one more time on our trip because we found our street my name by the way is eddie gates which is why this road was so important to me but when you're driving along the countryside of california you just see so many beautiful things and you start to appreciate the really small things in life or the comparatively small things in life like spending some time traveling around with my dad that was probably the biggest takeaway that i got from this trip is is that hanging out with your dad is is something incredible and special and i probably could have spent it here at home in Miami with him and just had a fantastic time anyways but it was all the more magical because we were exploring a new place together. If you're going to go on a travel trip, the best thing that I could tell you is that the only way to experience a new location is with good company and my dad was definitely that for me on this trip. 
but once you have that good company, it's important to go out and explore and have a good time. Some of the most magical moments were moments like these on this trip where we just stopped in the middle of nowhere completely unplanned and we just saw this beautiful little creek on the way to the amazing, amazing destination. We finally made it to the river which is right behind me. And uh, we're going down the loop trail which is going to be half a mile. We don't have time to do that. But it was so worth it to me. If you're ever lucky enough to visit the California Redwood Forest, any of them, you will see among the most incredible species of plant that you'll ever come across in your entire life. I mean, these trees are massive. The video does them no justice. You could stack a thousand of me and I still wouldn't weigh as much as one of these trees. It's crazy. So I've seen some really crazy things in my life, but I've never seen something quite like this. Have you ever seen the sky through a sequoia? So apparently this tree was hollowed out by lightning. Yeah, that light at the end of the tunnel, that's the tree. Yeah, so that was among one of the more crazy things that we were able to experience while we were there. We walked inside of a redwood and looked up and saw the sky through a hole in the redwood because lightning carved it out, like I said. It was incredible. Oh, yeah, and by the way, when you're here, you get this very powerful urge to hug a few of these trees. These trees are super duper thick. Uh, this one right here is the father of the forest, meaning that he is the fattest tree in the whole forest. Same. So, the Redwoods was incredible. Seeing the Golden Gate Bridge was incredible. San Francisco and California, in and of themselves, are incredible. Although this travel vlog probably wasn't very but it's my first one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe. I'll catch you guys in the next one.